Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Did you notice something different? I have played around a little bit in the background. So, let me know if you like it or not. I am super excited about this and I hope you are too. Valentine's Day is around the corner. So, today I am going to share with you this look. And it's a very subtle eye makeup look with a pop of neon pink lipstick. So if you want to know how I got this look then please keep on watching. So first I am going to use the Essence Eyeshadow Primer. I had done a Valentine theme nail art video last year. If you are interested then click the link in the description box or eyeball. And after that I am taking this Studio West blush and I am using it in the crease as my eyeshadow to give my eyes some dimension. Then I'm using the Revlon single eyeshadow in the shade Plum to deepen my crease even more. Next I'm using this Lacme Cortlet in the shade Silk Route. And I'm taking this light pink shade and I'm using it in the inner corners of my eyes as a highlight. After that I'm using the Miss Claire pink eyeshadow and I'm putting it all over my eyelid. I observed that this eyeshadow was not really that pigmented so I applied the eyeshadow using a wet brush. Now I am blending everything well because blending is the key guys. Now moving on to my face I am using the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer because we want a very bright and a very fresh looking skin. I am using this primer because it has a pink tint to it so it actually brightens up the complexion at the same time it primes. Next I am using the Color Bar BB Cream using Pack Beauty Blender. This cream is really nice and it gives a semi matte or dewy look. I am aiming for that. For this particular look, uh, I want the skin to look as fresh as it can. After that I am setting it with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I am just lightly dusting it, uh, not a lot because as I said I am focusing on the dewy look. For my eyebrows I am using the Maybelline Duo Shaper in grey.
after that i will be using the wet and wild contouring palette and i am just using the contour shade to contour my cheekbones my nose and my jaw line For my highlight I'm using this in color shimmery light pink blush. It's very shimmery so it actually works as a highlight better than a blush. So I'm highlighting my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my chin, bridge of my nose, my forehead, above and below my brows. You know all the usual places. Next I am using the Studio West blush as my blush now. <laughs> After that going back to the eyes I am using the Maybelline gel eyeliner and I am not doing a wing but you can totally go for a wing if you want I just think wing eyeliner doesn't look good on me so yeah Now I am using the Dyna of London nude pencil on the waterline. I want my eyes to look awake and bright. Using a nude eyeliner is better than using a kajal because if you use a kajal it will close them down. For my mascara, I am going to use the Faces Glamon Mascara. It's a volumizing mascara and I am also applying it on my lower lashes to make my eyes look even bigger. And the showstopper is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Don't Blink Pink. And it's a neon pink color. The camera is not doing justice to the shade. It's very very apt for Valentine's Day. It's matte and it's long lasting so it's perfect for your dinner date. <laughs> So there you go that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and please give this video a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to share and comment and of course subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video till then bye bye take care love you. Mwah.